In this video, we're going to consider how long until some event occurs, or how long ago some relationship occurred. And when we don't know the amount of time that we're using, we're going to either add or subtract the time in the change column. Add or subtract t for the change. So for example, if we've got a man who's 23, his sister's 11, how many years ago was the man triple his sister's age? We see we're talking about a man and his sister. We are told right now that the man is 23 and his sister is 11. So let's plug that in to the now column. The man is 23, the sister is 11. And we're asked how many years ago. We don't know how long in the past we're going for the change, we just know we're going back. So we're going to subtract the unknown time of t from each cell. So the man is 23 and we'll subtract the time. The sister is 11 and we'll subtract the time. But what happened at this unknown place in time? Well, what happened was the man was triple his sister's age. The man was equals triple three times his sister. So now if we look at the change column, we can substitute to get an equation we can solve for the time. What was the man at this point in the past? Well, the man in the past was 23 minus t. Equals 3s, 3 times the sister, who in the past was 11 minus t. Notice again the importance of the parentheses, because now as we solve, the first step is going to be to distribute through the parentheses. We have 23 minus t equals 33 minus 3t. We want the variable on one side, so we'll add 3t to both sides. 23 plus 2t equals 33. Solving the two-step equation by subtracting 23. 2t equals 10. And finally, dividing both sides by 2, we find out how much time is needed to go by to reach this goal. The time was 5 years ago, when the man was triple his sister's age. Let's try another example, where we have some unknown time for the change. Here a woman is 11 years old, her cousin is 32 years old, how many years until her cousin is double her age? We've got a woman and her cousin. And right now we are told that the woman is 11, the cousin is 32. What about the change? We are asked how many years until, stop there. Until, we're moving into the future, it hasn't happened yet, so we're adding some unknown amount of time to both the woman and her cousin. So the woman is 11, add the time. The cousin's 32, in the future we add the time. And what happens at this point in the future? The cousin is double the woman's age. The cousin is double two times the woman. Now we can use that change column with the equation to find out the relationship in the future. What was the cousin in the future? Well, the cousin is 32 plus t. Equals 2w. The woman in the future is 11 plus t. And now we have an equation we can solve to find the amount of time by first distributing the 2, simplifying each side. 32 plus t equals 22 plus 2t. Get the variable on one side by subtracting t. 32 equals 22 plus t. Subtract the 22 from both sides, and we find out 10 is equal to the time. 10 years to be exact. 
in 10 years, the cousin will be double the woman's age.